Hi, before we go for lunch, I'm sorry we're overrunning a little bit. I should start by saying konnichiwa. I think that'd be the correct way. Um, I think we all agree that the last six speakers have been amazing. Um, they've thrown some challenges and they've come up with some amazing imaginative ideas. However, um, with our premier sponsor, these things have to be made into reality. And I want to welcome on the stage, just to run through what they're going to be showing downstairs, our premier sponsor, Farisia, Andreas Vlasak, VP of Industrial Design, for a short presentation. Thanks, Abel. Thanks very much. The, the good news is you're just a few minutes away from lunch. That's great. So not everybody knows Farisia. I'm not going to make a long speech on that. The whole thing will be very short. Farisia is supplying to the anti-automotive industry, I think, pretty much every single brand in the world mainly interior parts, everything that you can imagine in here, but also something that comes from the exhaust system business that evolves into something we call clean mobility, which of course, as you can imagine, becomes increasingly important. Um, a big thing that maybe should be known, we are roughly 100,000 people in the world. We are getting close to 20 billion. That gives you a little bit of a feel of the size. I think it's interesting what we just have seen also in the previous session, we have been for the past, uh, I would say 100 years, the company is not that old. Uh, we have been dealing with almost the same amount of brands, roughly, at least in the, tw in, the, in the last 20, 30 years. But now suddenly, all these Link and Co's and others are popping up. So the number of customers for a supplier has more than tripled recently, which is a very interesting thing, because it also means that we have to, to pick and choose who do we work with, how, where do we invest. I think Farsi has a very good uh, pick, and actually all three that we have just have seen here, we are working together with them, so I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. And we have a design presence in India, so I encourage everybody else to do the same. Um, there's something big happening. Since I'm in this industry, people talk about the, the revolution of the interior. The interior becomes the most important thing in life. <clears throat> it was never wrong as a statement, but I think it has never been as true as it is right now. So as I'm saying here, the, the butterfly it's not just a, an improved or modified uh, caterpillar. We are really now going into a new world where the automotive design and the auto automotive product as such is challenged by all those technologies that you know as well as I do, all these uh, autonomous driving, electrification, the different use models of shared driving, the electric uh, driving, of course. Uh, so what does it mean? It means, first of all, that these new players that I just talked about are it's possible for them to exist suddenly. We have to learn a lot how to work differently because if you work for, a, let's say, for a Volkswagen over the past 50 years and you're used to these very structured and very useful processes, and then suddenly you work for a, for a Tesla who does pretty much the same thing or actually much more in not even a third of the time, you also as a company, we as a company have to adjust. So it's also very good and with a lot of pride that we can say that yes, we are supporting all these Mercedes, Volkswagen and others, but we also work on the, for example, the Model 3 of, the, of Tesla that has just launched recently. <coughs> so I mentioned in the title uh, something about this well-being magic versus the, the, uh, the, the digital magic of the new world. Of course, we all talk about the connectedness. Every, everything is screens, but I think it has been said in the first session already earlier this morning, people they don't really want to live in a, in a bubble of OLEDs, of just screens. We are still having this new technology, connectedness, everybody's connected at any time to everything else and within the car and to other users in the same car and to other people outside the car. But of course, at the same time, we will and we will always, and I think Japan as a culture is a great example for that, somehow be rooted into the authenticity. We would like to touch a, touch a material to feel that, for example, the wood of this vehicle here, which is the new XC60 from Volvo, is a real open pore wood that we are able to touch and we are feeling the, in that case again, a brand heritage, a Scandinavian heritage of that particular brand. So as for here, we're pretty happy that we are entering both worlds. So we come from the structural parts, seats, metal structures, complete seats, instrument panel structural parts, a lot of plastic injection wrapped with some skins. That's where we come from. And then more and more we went into the field of decoration, the example here, and now even more so into the world of HMI, user interaction, and overall, and that's a new challenge, into user interaction, which also means new skills to be established, 
within Forisia. These are design skills, of course, in my personal team, but also all the technology skills that come across in order to enable you as the brands to make this possible. So our target is, of course, to provide portfolios of those products, technology bricks that I come to in a second, and we then have as much as possible a brand understanding because the same technology brick is a different one if we work for a Genesis brand or for a Lexus brand or for an Infinity brand. We talk about the first panel session this morning. So it's a lot about the fusion. It's about the seamless integration. You cannot, in the space of a car which is somehow confined, just add more and more functions by juxtapositioning one next to the other, more buttons, more screens, more space, more decoration, more functional things like air vents, etc. These things have to be more and more seamlessly integrated. A decoration part is not anymore just decoration. It is also functional. A functional part like an, like an air vent is not anymore just an air vent. It's also a decorative element. And you need to have a very large also industrial base and of course design capability to allow this to happen. That's what we provide to the game. You see actually upstairs in the, 20, uh, in the 52nd floor uh, a small version of this big collection wall where we have all these technology applications of our portfolio shown. Here we just have a small sample. You see much bigger ones on the major auto shows like recently in, in Frankfurt where all of those decorative comfort and other technologies are showcased as well as interactive elements as you see them here. This is the big wall as we have shown it just a few weeks ago in the Frankfurt Auto Show. And from there we get to just some of those pure technology bricks isolated. So these are just some images of things we have recently shown at the Frankfurt Auto Show. This is for some of the audio specialists I know that here in the room. Uh, this is something where we can create single acoustic and audio bubbles within the vehicle where without moving physically the speakers around, the people can all together listen to music. Certainly one of the person gets a call and listens to the call without any headphones or anything. And the music goes down for him, but not for the other people. And then being back again for a, for a common enjoyment of the, of the music. So this is enabled through technology integration. This is also enabled, of course, by the choice of the real materials. So you see how technology, interaction, HMI, and materials decoration are coming together. <clears throat> Another one is this uh, possibility that we call the, the smart butler, smart control unit, where you're enabling not only to hold securely your smart device, but you're then directly interacting with a screen that can be further far, far away, that can be existing with a visual feedback on the small pad, or it's just the trackpad, and it allows you to have this perfect connectivity with your own mobile device. Or another thing, we of course do a lot of things internally as I have mentioned, but we are also partnering up and increasing uh, our scope through acquisitions and partnerships, one of them being Parrot, that is officially announced, so the automotive portion of the company Parrot, they are also doing drones, that's not us, has been uh, purchased by, by Forisia that allows us on an Android base to have all the connectivity, the traditional one, as well as the non-traditional ones with all these new applications which are coming in, directly integrated into the vehicle and into the use cases. So first of all, we integrate this aesthetically, physically into the vehicle. We are not working with a, with a mirror link. What is happening is really happening in the vehicle itself, in the, in the architecture of the electronics in the car that comes from Parrot. And we have two elements of this. One is a standardized element for all these USB-based uh, inputs which are coming also inputs which we do not yet know, which might come in one year or two years, and others that we are already knowing, and another portion that is adapting quickly to all these new, uh, all these new things. So it's, almost, it's also investment friendly and starts to be very successful in the, in the automotive industry. New structures, if you talk about autonomous driving, you have to have all the seat comfort, all the movements of an occupant done in a different way. I'm not going in all the details of what it does, but it enables people to be Safely, safely moved around in the interior with all the comfort features uh, moving together with them. That also means that, for example, from a thermal point of view, I'm in a different position. My thermal comfort has to adjust. You see again the total integration of everything that can happen. We are providing solutions for that. You're seeing the same smart butler, smart control unit that I mentioned earlier in an armrest here coming directly out of a seat armrest. So also here the seamless integration between various areas of the interior helps. 
and this is, by the way, it somehow goes without saying, an advantage we bring to the game because we are working on an entire interior. We don't, at the end, we don't care if a feature ends up rather in the seat or in a console or in an instrument panel because it's all a part of the same potential content we are providing. And of course, occupant sensing as well. Occupants' health and well-being is important. So if you're able to uh, sense the, the, the respiration rate, the heartbeat rate of an occupant, that can be a safety issue in case of an accident because of uh, very fast uh, support. But it can also supporting through a massage that is exactly tailored to you in every single moment in the vehicle experience. And it's, the part of an, it's a part of an overall vehicle experience. Here also here you see how large the, the scope is of various products, or here another one where we're simply merging physically what I said in my introduction, the world of the digital displays which are moving, which are present, which we are interacting with, with the physical world of skins, where we have a solution uh, where the skin is as well a part of what is actually moving and adapting. The screen is moving, as you can see in this small video, but the skin is moving as well. So this. Again, the seamless integration between different things. The execution of this will be completely different if we talk about uh, Tata or if we talk about a Land Rover or if we talk about a Guangzhou Automotive or, or a Geely product. But this is the way how we are operating in order, in order to make sure that nothing is left out. We are absolutely obsessed by the details and this is why it's important to work on all these, on all these elements of our designs. And with this, we are getting super close to lunch. I thank you very much, and thanks a lot, uh, Shiro Nakamura, for the invitation, and of course, Car Design News Able. Thank you very much. Thank you.